Okay, you were saying that you, you fund all kinds of um, projects, including uh, autochthonous or indigenous yes. pro projects. So, uh, let's start with that. I'm really interested in alternative kind of things. So, what kind of projects do the um, indigenous or autochthonous uh, uh, communities uh, come up with? We have a number of projects that are within the indigenous knowledge spectra. And we do have a center of IKS, which is in a hosted by the University of Kwazulu Natal, and they collaborate with other five more universities University of Venda, University of South Africa, University of the Northwest. We, we sort of form a consortia to come up together and sort of uh, fund a, a form a center for IKS in the county. So it's quite a very uh, a remarkable and very workable solution to have these five universities working together in that sphere so that they can pull all resources and NRF is the founder of such kind of uh, kind of studies in it. Now are the universities involved say, in all the provinces uh, you know we have the west you know the northern cape the western cape the, well, we're in the eastern cape uh, what, what other Within the Eastern Cape, we do have the chair, the research chair, which is hosted by the University of Walter Sisulu University, is the chair in the indigenous knowledge. So there are elements of IKS that is also coordinated in the Eastern Cape. And I want to believe that you know they've got some collaborations with the investor Forte here as to pull together in terms of that, you know. So the DST and the NRF is trying to put funding to ensure that the indigenous knowledge system doesn't just fizzle out. It has to be funded to be brought in the fore like any other research fraternity that has been funded by the NRF. Now there are let's go to other kinds of uh, renewable energies. Uh, now we've heard, I've heard on a, on the horizon there's a well, thermal you know, that comes out of the sea, I guess. I don't know what the thermal thermal energy, but what, what is, do you know anything about that? There is a, a hub and spokes model which the NRF funds and the hub is located at the University of Stellenbosch with the spokes in the Nelson Mandela University, the other spoke which is in Forte and also so Vet University in Pretoria. So when you talk about you know the types of renewable energy, there's quite a number of those. There's a thermal one. There's a, you know wind. There's a, a what was solar. The what was the second one? The wind. Oh, the wind. Sure. The yeah. wind. Yes. The solar. You know, and all these type, types of fun of, of of energy that you can harness from the you know waste materials yeah. that you know we can able to generate some. You know. The idea is to ensure that you know. Um, we are able to come up with clean technologies that are able to make sure that you know, our environment becomes sustainable. Now, if you say in terms of the emissions, you know, where we are heading, you know, we might lose the whole earth in terms of how we are polluting it. In. So the idea is that, you know, once people come with this renewable energy, which is a clean technology, it will make sure that, you know, the country, the world becomes sustainable. Well, some people say that uh, South Africa is uniquely uh, suited for a bunch of alternatives. For instance, of course, there's solar because we have the Karoo yes. and, and all the rest of that stuff. But there's another, um, they say there's another one uh, called, uh, that they've been using in rivers, a uh, wave energy. Mm. Now we have we, we have two oceans, yes. Indian yes. Ocean and the Atlantic yes. Ocean, yes. that we have this wave energy that's supposed to not get in the way of anything, even create even barrier reefs. There, are there any any uh, things going towards that? that yeah, way? I think for now it's an infancy. We know we sort of try to harness, you know, and get you know the things that we can quickly harness and get out of you know within our reach. Of course, you are right in terms of other sources of energy, like in the oceans. You know, there is this ocean spoke, you know, that is sort of looking towards that, you know, which will be launched soon by the Department of Science and Technology in the NRF, which ensure that you know we harness the energy that resides in the oceans. You know, mm -hmm. so also in terms of the solar, you know, it's quite very uh, ironic that as Africans, you know, we don't have enough energy because you know the source of energy. Through ESCO, 
and which we know is not sustainable because it depends on coal and it's difficult to get coal, so this and that. Thing. So it's ironic because you know you got sun, you got you know energy sun that should be able to be harnessed. You know. So I want to believe that you know we are in a rev right direction to ensure that you know we move the country to that direction where we're able to you to look at other sources of funding. I'm, I'm I'm pleased to know that you know in other places in the provinces you know we got people who are living off the grid, you know who are using the renewable sources to ensure that you know they heat their homes, light their homes, all this and that. Well, I wanted to stay with the, with, the, with especially the wave uh, thing with the oceans, only because we always. It seems like Africa is always waiting for uh, somebody else to develop it, and then they jump on the bandwagon. I, I'm, I'm, people I've been talking to, some people I've been talking to, say maybe we should skip jump technologies. In other words, instead of waiting for them to, to develop, the same with the wave, let's let us develop wave, yes, and, and, and let them come after us rather than we That's come the after them. Like, uh, uh, what's the what's the thinking? Yeah. I guess in, in your in your Quite right, and I think that's where science and technology now comes into the sphere. You might be aware that in the past there has been an uneven development, wherein you know a few people were able to receive funding to able to push research to come with technologies, you know, which left a big majority of people outside. So our mission and vision as the NRF is ensure that you know we bring everybody to the front, wherein technologies must start from Africa. Technologies must be started by us. We should, the days are gone where we have to wait for Europeans, people from the West, coming to say, you can use this for that, you know. We are able, we should be able to lead the front and able to come up with those technologies, you know. So we do have a number of projects that we do fund which are meant to bring these technologies, you know. And it's just a matter of time where our researchers, you know, are going to find that niche to bring the kind of technologies that we want. Okay, thank you so much. So, before I forget, I guess I'd be remiss. Uh, can you guess once again, uh, say your name and how do people, do people contact your office? How do they contact you? Do you have a card? What, how do you... Yes, my name is uh, Bernard Ntambeleni. I'm the executive director for the grants management and the system administrations at the National Research Foundation. We can be reached, you know, our number is 012 481 4182. So, anytime if there is a researcher or a student or who needs a scholarship or postdoctoral fellow, NRF is ready to ensure that we invest in those people to fund. Okay, thank you so very much. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you have a card or something I'm like that? I'm in a card, but I left them in the car. If oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll just get